Hello everyone, welcome back for another restorative yin yoga practice here at Devi Daily Yoga, where it's not about how your yoga looks, but it is all about how it feels. So we'll use a bolster for our postures today, and the bolster can help to deepen our ability to release into the poses, and it also gives just an extra level of support that can be quite calming for the nervous system. If you don't have a yoga bolster, you can use a firm cushion from the back of your sofa to substitute, and I will also use a blanket for today's practice, and all I'm going to do with this blanket is spread it out on top of my mat for an extra level of support. So that part is optional, just if you want a little extra cushioning. So go ahead and settle in and we will get started with our restorative yin yoga practice. So go ahead and spread your blanket out on top of your mat if you're using one. And then when you're ready, come to sit on top of your bolster, straddling the bolster for a seiza position with this extra support. Knees can hug the sides of the bolster and the hands can rest on the thighs and we'll go ahead and close the eyes. And with the eyes closed, sensing your physical body in space now, noticing the contact of your sitting bones to the bolster, noticing the contact of your shins and the tops of your feet to the floor. And from this solid base of the lower body, inhale, to rise up through the spine and through the crown of your head. And exhale, relax into this position of your body. Take another full breath to spread into the chest. Exhale. And now I'll breathe right into your belly. and let it go. And we'll take some counted breath called samavritti or even breathing. And in this breath, we will simply breathe in for a count of five and exhale for a count of five, regulating the nervous system and balancing the energy. So I'll talk you through it. Let's exhale to begin, empty the lungs. And inhale, two, three, four, five, pause, exhale, two, three, four, five, pause, inhale, two, three, four, five, hold the breath in, exhale, two, three, four, five, hold the breath out, Inhale, two, three, four, five. Pause. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Pause. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Hold it in. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Pause and relax your effort as you return to your easy, natural flow of breath. And notice the effect of this even breath, this samavritti. Feel what's happening inside your body. Ready, gently let the eyelids open and come to sit on one side of your bolster with the bolster right at your back and we're gonna rest down on the back and make our way into an upside down dragon pose where we kind of have to just hoist our hips up on the bolster extend both legs forward and interlace the fingers press the palms up and away from the feet take a nice big breath in and exhale let's bend the knees hug them both into the chest and notice how this feels to have the hips elevated with this nice curled in position 
And from here, we are going to expand into a one-legged dragon shape. Clasp your hands around your right knee and extend your left leg forward onto the mat. And here's our first long hold. You can choose also to clasp behind the thigh instead. And the arms might use gentle pressure to keep hugging the leg in a little tighter, but make sure you don't exhaust your arms. Mostly we want to let gravity do the work, especially on the legs. We're targeting the left thigh, the front of the thigh and the front of the hip. Once you find your final position, once you've made your adjustments to find your level of comfort, then find an easy breath in to the hips, into the pelvis. And exhale and see if you can soften into the shape you're in a couple more degrees. Settling into stillness. Let the right leg meet the left, extending both legs and interlace your fingers and press your palms up and away from your feet. Take a big inhale and exhale. Once again, both knees can come hug into the chest now, clasping your hands around both knees. Inhale. And as you exhale, extend the right leg and clasp the hands around the left knee, hugging left knee in toward the chest. Feel the stretch in the front of your right hip, the front of your thigh. And can you breathe now into this thigh, pelvis, right side of the hip? As you exhale, can you soften into this shape and really surrender to gravity?
Now release the left leg and stretch it long down the mat and interlace fingers and press the palms up and away from the feet once again, inhaling. And now as you exhale, take both knees in and hug both knees into the chest. You can stay here or hold on to the bottoms of your feet for a happy baby pose. Breathing into the low back as it stretches and lengthens. And now release the feet. Keep the legs up as you cross your left ankle over your right knee. Figure four pose with the hips in this wonderful elevated position. You can clasp the hands around the right shin or behind or underneath the right knee and hold on to the thigh. Either clasp, whichever works better for you, to stretch into the left glutes. And as you feel into this outer left hip area, you might find you want to rearrange yourself a little or angle your legs to the right or to the left a little more. Making your adjustments so that you can eventually settle in to a comfortable place of relative stillness with only the breath moving in and out. And now we'll shift this into upside down shoelace. So cross your knees tighter so that your knees come as close to each other as possible. And take one hand to each foot, right hand to left foot, left hand to right foot. And now we can draw the feet toward the body to whatever amount feels good. Continuing to stretch into the same target area with this variation, which is the left buttock once again. And while the arms might be somewhat active here, the rest of the body can be completely relaxed and passive. Legs and hips, spine, feet. Softening even into the face and the head and the skull. and slowly release the legs now. Extend the legs long down the mat, interlace the fingers, press the palms up and away, and inhale to the whole body. Now as you exhale, bend both knees and we'll take the figure four on the second side, right ankle over the left knee. Find your clasp on the back of the thigh or the front of the shin and feel the stretch in the right glutes as you arrange yourself and as you fine-tune your posture so that it feels wonderful in your body. And continuing to breathe smoothly and evenly.
And now letting go of the legs so you can shift into upside down shoelace where the knees cross as close to one another as possible and the feet come out to the sides, opposite hand to foot, stretching now into the right glutes. And breathing. Resting and surrendering into the shape. And now slowly release the legs, extend the legs long down the mat, interlace the fingers with the arms pressing up over the head, inhale, and exhale, bring the arms down and bend the knees so your feet come flat on the floor, and this way we can lift the hips and slide the bolster out and come to the floor. And now with your feet, can you rearrange your bolster so it's the long way on your mat? And from here, we're gonna come into a supine butterfly with elevated hips. So lift your hips up like a bridge pose and grab your bolster and slide it under you. So your hips end up on the end of the bolster. And now place your feet on top of the bolster with the soles of the feet together and the knees open wide. And here you can choose what to do with your hands. Maybe they want to rest on the inside of the legs to add a little bit of weight, or maybe they'll just come to the sides with the palms facing up and the shoulders at a perfectly comfortable angle for you. And hear this underbelly of the body, this softest part of the low belly and the inner thighs and the groin and the front of the pelvis. This is all safe and open, relax. And we can now breathe into this underbelly, softly expanding and exhale from this place, relaxing the underbelly. Let yourself soften even more into the support of the bolster that you feel under hips and feet. And can you now bring your awareness to this beautiful contact between your sacrum and the bolster? And breathe into this sensation, the bolster hugging the sides of the sacrum. the legs and hips releasing even more with each passing breath and especially with each exhale.
Slowly now, draw the knees together, let the feet find the floor again, and lift your hips off the bolster and push the bolster away so your hips can find the ground again. And hug your knees in. Take one hand onto each knee and begin to circle your knees around three times in one direction, nice and slow. And three times the other way, nice and slow. Good. And let's find the floor with the feet and roll to one side so we can come up and set up for child's pose on the bolster. Take the bolster to one half of your mat and straddle the bolster and see if you can pull it in. Get your knees wide enough to pull the bolster right into your low belly and get this wonderful sense of nurturing contact of bolster to belly. Turn your head to one side and straddle around the bolster as you hold on to the sides of the bolster or just let your arms and hands rest on the floor. And if you have a longer torso or a short bolster, you could choose to pull the bolster back and then place a block under your forehead. Letting your torso be fully supported as it releases down into the cushioning. The side of the face releasing into the cushioning. The nervous system calming down, regulating. Knowing that you're being held knowing that you're being supported in this moment and that you can truly let go slowly come back up from this child's pose and come into a, a spinal twist so the feet will come to one side the bolster is next to your left hip the feet are on the right side of your body and you can choose to skew your legs as much as you'd like as we lean to the side or you might just like two knees on top of each other so the exact leg position is something you can decide what feels best and now we'll have hands on either side of the bolster as we turn the chest and ribs toward the bolster and start to settle down and now Turning the head one way or the other, it'll be a milder twist if you keep the head to the right on the same side as the knees, and it'll be a deeper twist if you turn your head to the left away from the knees. Settling into your spinal twist. Feeling the support of the bolster now under your ribs, under your belly under your head and feel the way the spine is twisting in the center of your body and breathe into all this sensation
Slowly now rise up and slowly change sides, twisting the other way. So flip your knees over to the other side, then your bolster can come to the right side of the right hip and pull the bolster in to make contact. Place the hands on either side of the bolster and we want to really make sure we get that wonderful belly contact on the way down. Choosing which way to turn your head on this side and settling in, making any adjustments that are needed for complete comfort and support. Taking a moment to appreciate the support of this bolster holding you and the support of this earth that holds you against it with its nurturing pull of gravity. And slowly now come up from your spinal twist and sit now with the bolster at your back and lean back on your hands and take a little seated windshield wipers knees side to side. Feel the energy moving flowing through the body. Good, and bring the knees back up to center. And now come into your choice of saddle pose over the bolster or butterfly pose over the bolster. So if you're taking saddle, you'll sit either on top of your feet or in between your feet and rest back over the bolster. And this is not for everyone. This is more of an intermediate pose. And if that's not what you're going to choose to do today, then the other wonderful option is supported butterfly soles of the feet resting back over the bolster. Once again, we want to get that bolster right into the small of the back for that nurturing support. And here we get to open the chest up, open the arms at the most perfect angle for you to feel a release in your chest and your shoulders. Settling into whichever pose your body is feeling called to. And begin to melt into the support below you. Finding your steady, even breath. Thank you. 
and release. Slowly bring the knees back together if you're in supported butterfly or push yourself up from your saddle pose. And, and then we'll move this bolster to be in front of the body to come into caterpillar pose with the legs straddling the bolster. Elbows can rest on the bolster. Maybe the hands or forearms stack to support the head. And maybe if you bend deeper in this pose, you're using the bolster to support your chest. At this point in the practice, notice if there are any particular sensations in your spine or any particular nervous system sensations, electrical pulses, any sense of aliveness. Whatever's happening inside, breathing with it. Slowly now rise up and slowly come onto your back with your bolster turned the sideways and bolster under the knee. Take a rebound here with the arms spread out and feel the effects of caterpillar pose and all the poses we've done before it. Breathing in now to fill the whole body and breathing out. And now let's bend the knees to pull this bolster in closer and lift the hips, slide the bolster under you for golden gate pose, extend your legs and your arms can be out at your sides at a comfortable angle or if you prefer you could have them up over your head on the floor as we stretch gently into the low back and the front of the hips.
And now let's bend the knees. And as we draw the knees in, we're going to make our way into waterfall pose, extending the legs straight up. Arms could stay up over the head, or they could come out at any comfortable angle. And now a couple of options from here. First option is to stay here. Second option is to let the legs come over the head so that you begin to feel maybe more stretch in the back body, the back of the lower back and the back of the legs. And if you want to explore more sensation or get more upper body, you could lift the hips off the bolster if snail pose is part of your practice, hands come to the low back and begin to let the legs come over the head. Optionally reaching the arms up over the head to hold on to the feet. So whichever variation you're working with today, see if you can find a place of stillness and quiet as you let gravity work in the opposite direction on your body in this inverted posture. Releasing stagnant energy from the tissues of the legs. Breathing in now. And let the breath go as you soften a little bit more into the shape your body is in. And now let's slowly begin to exit this pose, bending the knees and slowly letting the feet find the ground. Once the feet find the ground, let's move into our final Shavasana by lifting the hips, slide the bolster down to come under the knees and make yourself comfortable on your back. Take a moment if you would like to have any extra support like a blanket over top of your body or an eye pillow over your eyes. And here we can take this special moment of stillness and utter calm to become fully receptive to the energies of this practice, to the benefits of this series of ultra supported stretches. Basking in the calm and quiet of your inner world.
Now take a deeper breath into the belly and into the heart. As you exhale, gently wiggle the fingers and toes, stretch the legs and bend your knees and very slowly roll to one side and make your way up to sit. We could choose to sit on your bolster the way we began. Finding an upright position of the spine. Returning to the place where we began with some of Ritti breathing. Counting five on the inhale, pausing five on the exhale and pausing again. Let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Pause, exhale, two, three, four, five, pause, inhale, two, three, four, five, pause, exhale, two, three, four, five, pause, inhale, two, three, four, five, pause, Exhale, two, three, four, five. Pause and rest. When you're ready, gently allow the eyelids to flutter open. And that's our practice today. Thank you for joining me and thank you for taking care of yourself today. I appreciate you practicing with Devi Daily Yoga. And if you would like to study deeper with me, check out the links in the description box below to my Yin Yoga teacher training and other programs. I look forward to seeing you the next time. And until then, have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.